What's up, everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Today, I'm going to be discussing a um, much-needed topic and a something that is kind of hot in the press these days. Um, I made a, another video about uh, physician burnout, physician stress, um, and what kind of ways that you can deal with that. But today, I wanted to talk about work-life balance. As a medical student, as a physician, as a pre-med student, this video can be applied to uh, essentially everyone. Um, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts, my advice, and also um, give some tips on how I have, um, how I deal with work-life balance. As you may know, as a resident, your life can be very busy. Um, hours ranging from 40 hours a week to 100 hours a week. I recently, recently completed trauma surgery and as a orthopedic uh, chief resident on trauma surgery, hours can be very busy. I was working upwards to 100 plus hours a week. Um, other services, I'm currently on an orthopedic oncology services and the hours are not that, that bad. So maybe 60 hours a week. But it's very important to have work-life balance. Uh, physician um, kind of burnout rate is very high, especially specialties like emergency medicine, uh, internal medicine, surgical specialties have very high burnout rates. And I think it's important to have a outlet and also have a uh, some type of balance uh, to achieve longevity in the medical field. Uh, the Cambridge Dictionary stated that work-life balance is the amount of time that you spend at work compared to the amount of time that you spend outside of work doing things that you enjoy and spending time with your family. Uh, for me, I achieve work-life balance by a few simple things. I think number one, I do things that I enjoy. And one of the things I enjoy is traveling. I'm going to put a video up right here for you guys about my recent trip to Europe. I went to, um, I spent about 10 days. I went to Germany. I went to Czech Republic. I went to Austria and just uh, spent time with my family and just got away from everything and and uh, really enjoyed myself. Uh, I love traveling. I've been to Iraq. I've been to Jamaica. Uh, not, I didn't go to Iraq to travel. I went there in the military. I went to Qatar. I've been to uh, Jamaica, like I said, uh, Haiti uh, twice. I've been to, uh, I think, about 11, 12 countries. I can't think of the other ones right now, but that's one thing that I love doing is traveling and exploring. Another thing that I do is uh, I love to work out three to four times a week. I try to work out and and what it does for me is it's a stress rel reliever and also just gets my mind off everything that I went through that day. I can have a bad day uh, at work and just go to the gym and just forget about everything for at least an hour and a half, two hours. Plus, it keeps you healthy. But some tips for you guys, I think number one is to find, remember your purpose. Remember, remember your why. Why did you go into medicine? Uh, why did you choose to become a doctor? Why are you doing this day in, day out? And I think if you remember uh, why you're doing something day in and day out or why um, that you, you work so hard to get to this point, I think that will help you um, kind of have that balance between work and, and life. Um, next, uh, I think it's important to learn to say no. There'll be lots of different things that are pulling you in different directions. There's going to be friends, there's going to be family, there's going to be uh, work events, there's going to be life events, people going out to the to clubs, to party, different sales reps are pulling you in different directions. So you have to learn how to say no. I found that to be very difficult in my first few years of um, outside of medical school, but it just comes with, with, with time. You learn how to prioritize, and that's number three for you guys. Uh, you have to prioritize your, your time, you have to prioritize how much time that you're gonna spend with uh, your studying, with your family, and I think if you prioritize things, uh, little small things may not be as important. Going out to the club or going out with your friends, going to the movies, all those things are important, but you have to prioritize, and it takes a lot of sacrifice when you're going into medicine because the road to get to a full-fledged physician is pretty long so you have to sacrifice quite a bit next I think uh, it's important that go along those same lines is uh, time management time management is essential it's a it's a critical 
portion of your being to become a physician. Each and every day that I get up, I know exactly what I want to accomplish that day because I write my things out that I need to accomplish. I need to read these chapters today. I need to go over this textbook. I need to go see these patients. I need to sit down and give a review with my, my medical students or my, one of my junior residents. These are the things that I need to do today. This is the time that's allocated for it. And I think if you put a time to every goal that you need to meet that day, that that will allow you to better and more effectively uh, manage your time. So I just want to put to put this get this video together for you guys and talk about work-life balance. It is extremely hard to do that, and I think it's it's very important. The AMA actually came out with a study, and they show that 95% of medical students, physicians under age 35, think it's important, which I, I, I do definitely agree with that. Like I said, you have to remember remember your why, why you went into medicine. You have to prioritize. You have to have time management skills, and you have to learn how to say no. This is Dr. Webb. If you guys have, guys have any more questions, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or contact me on my website at antoniawebmd.com. See you next time.